from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Entrusted by the Alliance with the ancient secret of how to assemble Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Attention, all members of the Voltron Force. This is Commander Hawkins. We are now beginning our first peaceful exploration with the Drool Empire of the planet Zay. Captain Gorvan is in charge of the Drool teams. Jeff, Cliff, and Crick, launch your teams and meet up with them. The Voltron Force had a perfect launch and hookup, Commander. Thank you, Sparks. This joint planet exploration with the Drool Empire should come off perfectly. Commander Hawkins, on behalf of the Galaxy Alliance, congratulations on your peaceful efforts with the Drool Empire. Thanks, Colonel Cross. This joint planetary investigation is only the first step, but it's a big one. Planet Zay reminds me of a prehistoric Earth. I bet we have fun exploring it. Jeff, the teams from the Drool Empire are here. Great, now we can begin exploring the planet together. This is Cliff. You know this is a great day for the whole universe. Make it count. You bet, right. right. Everything is going smoothly, Captain Gorvan. Working with the Galaxy Alliance is the best thing that could have happened. It's Commander Nirok on the Ultrawave. Gorvan, the Supreme Council has just put me in charge of all explorations. As of right now, I am ordering you to stop this foolish business with the Galaxy Alliance. But Hazar and I worked very hard to arrange this peaceful effort with the Alliance. Hazar is now in charge of the slave dungeons on the planet Drool. Stop now or else! But Hazar said... I don't care what Hazar said! I'm in charge! You stop working with the Alliance! Now! Commander Nero! His next order will be to start fighting again. Just when everything was going so well. The 
This is a primitive planet. Those giant birds are like pterodactyls. Pterodactyls? They were around when the Earth was young. Look at that! Dinosaurs! Wow! The climate changes here sure are weird. Drool team calling Voltron Force. What did you call those creatures? Those animals are dinosaurs. They roamed the Earth freely millions of years ago. Are you all right? Yeah, just a little shook. Just making sure we're in this together. Captain Gorman, I'm in control here. When I give an order, I expect it to be obeyed. Gorvan is still reading over the agreement between the Drool Empire and the Galaxy Alliance. Gorvan, put that paper down and step over here in front of me. You stop working with the Alliance or your next job will be in the slave dungeons. Commander, please reconsider. We're taking over that planet and we don't need interference. Hey, how come you guys just took off like that? We have been ordered to return to our ship. Jeff, the drool teams are leaving in a hurry. Why are they leaving? So, some power-crazy drool leader doesn't care about teamwork and cooperation after all. Let's, Let's just, just go. go. Cliff's sure mad about what happened. I'm not happy about it either. I'd like to find the guy who called it off. I'm hoping this doesn't turn into a bigger problem than it already is. Come on, let's relax. With the tricks the druids play, who can relax? What? The druids are burning the forests. But why? Yeah, why? Are we gonna stand around here while they destroy the planet? No, let's go! Captain Gorvan, I want to speak to your superior. Impossible! What reason could he possibly have in ordering you to stop working with the Alliance? I'm sure if I could just speak with him a moment, we could work things out. We are going to conduct the exploration alone. Gorvan, be reasonable. Don't call again. Gorvan, please listen. destroying nature and innocent life. We have orders to clear this area. You are intruders. This planet now belongs to the Drool Empire. Yes, it does. And not only that, but we have super weapons which we will use if we have to. A 
attention, all robots. Proceed with the destruction of the forests. Robot Captain, listen to me. If we start fighting now, any chance for peace will be gone. We should wait till our leaders can talk. The best I can do is contact Captain Gorvan and ask his permission. Yes, that'll be super. Call him right now before it's too late. I sent a message to Captain Gorvan asking his okay to resume peaceful exploration. Team, follow me. We have to give the robot a little time to see what he can do. Meanwhile, the animals and forests on planet Zay are temporarily safe. The robots are more reasonable than their masters. It would be a shame to fight and destroy this planet. What kind of a fool captain are you anyway? Even your own robots won't follow your orders. You won't get another warning. This nonsense with the Alliance is going to end now, or I'm going to call the Council and have you arrested! Just fight and fight and fight and war? That's what Nirok wants! Captain, we must do what he says. Jeff, land, sea, and air teams are still in place and ready to go. What should we do? The teams want to know their next move. Wait. Commander Hawkins is still trying to contact their leaders. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Maybe. Jeff, can I get out and stretch? Rocky, hang in there a little while longer. Good or bad, something will happen. They're at it again. Cliff, Crick, wait. Listen to me. Maybe the commander hasn't reached him yet. Come on, Jeff. Hold it. Wait. <laughs> we will not allow them to destroy this planet. But I want you to wait before we start fighting. Please, be patient. Ah! My patience is wearing very, very thin. Can we fight back? Commander, they're shooting at us. We gotta do something about it. Jeff, hold on. I can't reach them. I'll try again. Sparks, have they answered yet? Commander, they've answered all right. They've answered with a giant roe beast monster. They must stop. Over. We're gonna have to fight! Voltron Force, defend yourself! Gorvan, be reasonable. There's still time for peace. Call off the attack. That is impossible for me to do. Gorvan, what has happened? You and I worked out an agreement for peaceful exploration of this planet, and now you're throwing it all away. If you don't want to fight, leave. So you can destroy this world? Then you'll have to stay and fight, Commander. Or have you forgotten how? Gorvan, come back. Captain Gorvan! 
satisfied. This is only the beginning. Soon you'll have the chance to destroy Voltron. That roll beast is strong and knows how to fight. Jeff. If we fly in and out of the enemy formation, they won't have a clean shot. Good thinking. It's worth a try. Let's go for it. While we're wasting time playing hide and seek, they're still burning the forest. We've got to stop them. Cliff is right, Jeff. If we don't make a big move now, we could lose it. You know what to do. Okay, team, let's get ready. Air team, high! Land team, fly! Team, turn! Okay, everyone, Voltron, go! Form feet and legs! Form arms and torso! Now form the head! chance to beat Voltron and you blew it. Now I'm gonna show you how easily it's done. Just watch me crush the mighty robot. Commander, please stop this madness. The Galaxy Alliance still wants peace. I don't care. Maybe not, but if you lose to the mighty Voltron, the Supreme High Council will hear about it. I'm not afraid of them and I'm not afraid of Voltron. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of work here, replanting all the damage to the environment. Oh, Jeff! They launched another robot monster! Another one? It's bigger than the other one. Well, bigger they are, harder they fall. Jeff, no. We gotta protect this planet! Voltron needs a turbocharge. You might not be able to handle that monster. We'll take the chance. Don't be so foolish. Get out of there now while you have the time. That rope beast's a giant. <laughs> We're in it now. We can't take this thing laying down. Jeff! A tornado is forming on the surface of the planet. What? Jeff, a tornado. Tornado? It's a big one and it's about to run right into you. You'd better break free of that monster and escape from the planet in a hurry. Okay, Commander. First things first, we're gonna try and get away from this roll beast. Hey, 
Jeff. Now's our chance. Let's get out of here. There's no way this road beast's gonna let us go. So we'll have to stay here and fight. Careful, Voltron. Some ride? We've got to get out of this tornado. We're getting dizzy. Let's go. Just leave the monster here. All right, Ginger, the wing beam. Okay, Jeff, wing beam. He's a coward. He rocks nothing but a coward. I'll be back, Gorvan. Then I'll destroy them. <laughs> if our leaders would only stop their wicked ways and give peace a chance to grow. Do you think there can ever be lasting peace? I sure hope so, Lisa. Even if the destructive drools won't help, we'll always be on the side of peace with the help of Voltron, Defender of the Universe. <laughs>